Hey everybody, Coin Week editor Charles Morgan here. I'm at Legend Mary Coin Auctions lot viewing room at the New York International Numismatic Convention where they are previewing lots from their 25th sale. Since uh, Legend uh, Rare Coin Auctions has come into the business, what they have done is they have uh, taken their eye for high eye appeal, high quality coins, rare coins, and type coins, and they have leveraged that into catalog after catalog of exceptional quality. Uh, they're coins uh, for the wealthy collector investor, and they're also coins for the serious collector that is, uh, you know, basically operating at a budget of a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars per coin. What I've done is I've gone through the catalog uh, for the 25th sale, which includes many rare coins, but also some great type coins. And I pulled out some material that I think is very important for not only the, the, the genre of the coins, but also some opportunities for collectors who are operating, you know, under $1,000 or $2,000 a coin, some real opportunities in the market to get exceptional quality material. So one of the, uh, one of the anchors of the 25th sale is the Ipswich collection, which includes many high uh, quality three cent pieces, uh, including some patterns. Some of these have just fantastic toning. This 1861 three cent piece, which is graded PCGS MS67 and CAC certified, has unbelievable target toning on the reverse. It's uh, got a clear satiny luster on it underneath the toning. And uh, the collector of this calls this uh, the his Sid Vicious coin, which is an homage to the great uh, London rock group, uh, punk rock group, the Sex Pistols. Uh, when you look at coins like this in this tremendous color, it really shows that the appetite that collectors have these days for uh, high eye appeal toned coins has changed dramatically uh, over the years. Uh, 50, 60 years ago, a coin like this might have been dipped out by a, a collector uh, wanting brilliant blast white. But what we have found is with natural toning, especially attractive, natural, colorful toning on silver coins, that the collector market really gets excited. And you could take a coin that would normally sell for a hundred or a few hundred dollars and get thousands of dollars for it with the right high eye appeal toning. Another great another great piece from the Ipswich collection, and it's actually not a regular issue, but a pattern. This is Jud 125 which borrows from the uh, revolutionary Mexican uh, Liber, uh, Libertad series, where you see the Phrygian cap with a glory of rays behind it. Uh, the date 1850 is prominent. In the back, you see palm leaves wrapping around the Roman numeral of three. Again, this is a nice toned coin. In the proper light, you'll see radiant streaks of red and blue on a proof surface. Probably between 70, Five, seventy-six, and two hundred of these were struck, so they're not unobtainable. But to get one with such great eye appeal is definitely an opportunity. And any serious collection of three cent pieces should have patterns like this in them. Ba basically, one of the quintessential series in, U in 20th century U.S. numismatics is going to be the buffalo nickel. Uh, for many collectors who got into the hobby in the 50s and 60s, buffalo nickels and mercury dimes were probably the, the the two coins that they would pull out of change, you know, when they were kids. This 1916 DDO is a naked eye visible double die variety. You can see the, the second impression underneath the chin, underneath the, t the rear feather and the Indian headdress, and also in the date. It's a beautifully rare uh, buffalo nickel. This example is graded MS64 by PCGS. The second one here is a 1918 over seven uh, from Denver, graded MS65 plus by PCGS. Uh, as nice as the uh, 1916 double die is, this coin really is spectacular. Again, it's got uh, that shimmering satiny finish, almost slightly oily looking. Um, and uh, the seven is naked eye visible underneath the eight. This, is, uh, this overdate is incredibly rare. And uh, PCGS has certified uh, only three at this level. Uh, at MS65, and this is the only plus. Lot 133 is a 1921D a Wing Liberty Dime graded MS67 full bands. Uh, this coin's absolutely hammered. The obverse is practically flawless. You see the fully formed uh, Wing Liberty. Uh, the inscriptions are bold. When you look at the reverse, the uh, bands are fully struck up. Just minuscule marks on, on some of the uh, bands. Uh, but nothing that would stand out, and you would need a very strong glass to see any blemish on a coin like this. Uh, this is a, a POP2 coin in an NGC holder. Only one has been certified so far by PCGS. Uh, 1921D is a very tough date uh, to find an uncirculated condition, and to find basically a, a coin that's perfect as struck like this is, 
is really remarkable. And any serious dime collector would want to have a coin like this in their collection. Another great modern is this uh, 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar Improved 69 Deep Cameo. We take for granted that the mint's uh, exceptional quality uh, of today was that way throughout the entire mintage of the Kennedy Half, but that's not true. Early Kennedy Halves tended to uh, have hairlines and uh, not completely cameo contrast. In fact, 63 and 64 are the two years where the Mint made most of their deep cameos in the uh, pre-modern uh, proof period. But uh, this example is nearly perfect, and you won't find a better example. This looks as if it was struck yesterday. The 1852 uh, silver dollar is actually uh, quite a controversial issue because it's not really well known how many were struck. Uh, could be as few as three, could be as many as uh, six to ten. Uh, numismatists throughout the 20th century have been really conflicted about this. Uh, many have uh, tried to trace the different die pairings. Uh, this one is marked original, uh, maybe one of only three that would qualify as original. It's still got full brilliant mirrors, is deeply toned, and a nice uh, blue, yeah, aqua, and purple, and a CIC approved. Legend Rare Coin Auctions has become known as probably the primary source for ultra high end tone Morgan dollars. The uh, recent Northern Lights sale, which was conducted in multiple parts, brought record prices. Uh, th this, this piece would have been right at home in a collection like that. This is uh, bag toning taken to the, uh, basically cranked all the way up to 11. You see a little bit of the textile toning on Liberty's cheek, but this is a super satiny coin with great rainbow. The, co the colors are sort of a, a, a distillation of, of uh, magenta and aqua sea foam on the obverse, whereas on the reverse you see uh, toning around the rim and, and golds and a little bit of purple. This coin was graded MS66 by PC Jess and a CAC approved. So that wraps up my private viewing of these lots. The uh, Legend Auction is going to have over 390 lots for sale, many of them as fine or better or more interesting coins than these even. I uh, picked some of the coins that I thought maybe you would enjoy the most. Uh, but uh, to look at the entire offering, go to their website and uh, be sure to register to bid. It could be your only opportunity to buy some of these conditionally rare coins before they're locked up in cabinets for generations. For Coin Week, I'm editor Charles Morgan. Until next time, happy collecting.